Good grief, Charlie Brown. You know, these last couple of days have been amazing. I, I just, I can understand what is going on in the United States right about now. We got people threatening to leave the country. We have um, the, I don't know what to call them, millennials out marching. And I'm going, what are you doing? Go somewhere and sit down. I know you're pouting, but, you know, <laughs> they don't realize a real struggle. You know, going through some real times where protesting and marching um, is warranted. And I think that our society has become so sensitive, so hypersensitive and politically correct. They feel like they got to protest every single thing that happens. Um, you know, and it just seems like this is the direction that we're going in. You know, back during the 50s and 60s, uh, people marched and it was serious stuff. It was life or death. It was real oppression. Um, and now we have a situation where their candidate lost and they want to hit the streets with the picket signs and protesting as if that's going to change the outcome. And I question the logic. I think sometimes that people just want to feel like they're part of some type of movement and they're contributing to some higher or greater cause. But all they're doing is contributing to further divide in the country. Um, people have formulated an opinion about um, soon to be President Trump. And unfortunately, with the help of the media and the democratic pol political games that they play, it's going to be very hard to change that perception in the eyes of many people. It's that simple. Uh, many have been brainwashed to just believe that Trump is a racist. Trump is a xenophobe and a, uh, he's, he's a sex offender and all kind of stuff. Um, but that's not going to change the reality that he's also going to be the president. I happen to not believe those things. I think that they were perpetrated and reinforced uh, by a false narrative throughout the media. Um, but I, I get tired of hearing black and whoever else people just pull the race card. Everything's about race. The reason Trump lost is because all the white people voted for him. And I'm offended by that because there's a whole bunch of black people, even on my timeline on Facebook, that are happy um, that Trump won because they're looking at the issues and they're not in their feelings and they're not they're not being manipulated or haven't been manipulated by the media and how biased they've been. Uh, they've used some reasoning to make this decision. So my suggestion to all the people who want to throw the pity party and take to the streets and say no justice, no peace. I, I don't even know what that means. No justice, no peace. It, it, it was crazy. It was I watched on the news last night. It was probably about two or three thousand young uh, Caucasian men and women walking and they, they use the old school black panthers uh statement no justice no peace and i'm going oh yeah no justice what, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do you know <laughs> i mean they they don't even know what that meant back then when you said no justice no peace that meant hey if we don't get our rights taken care of we're going to war i don't know what they're talking about no justice no peace what i mean you're gonna stay up all night yelling and keeping everybody up in the streets by going uh we want trump to step down i, I don't understand but um, I think people just need to relax and say, look, how do we heal from here? So what? Now what? That is my slogan. Um, your candidate lost. So what? Now what? What do you do from here? Do you whine about it? Do you take it to the streets? And how, how long can you keep that protest up? Huh? Don't you have a job? I don't understand. Where's your job? Don't you have stuff to do? I mean, you're spending all this time uh, protesting the results that are not going to change. So relax, go to work, uh, go back to class, um, enjoy yourself and see what happens. And, you know, I just think that people are jumping the gun so quickly. So chill out, relax, see what happens. And also, um, as he becomes the president, if all of those accusations that were made about him were true, they'll come out eventually. Um, throughout his presidency if they're not then they won't so relax chill out that's my uh encouragement to all of the people who just can't fathom that their candidate lost you know and what really gets me is some of the people who didn't even vote mad 
Nah, man, that's messed up, man. Trump, man, that's some bull crap, man. I'm about to take it to the streets. Did you vote? Nah, man, I don't vote, man. And I'm going, you have no right to even say anything. You know, it wasn't Trump that took seven weeks off and, and laid around thinking he had the, 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 the candidacy in the bag. You know, that was the Democratic candidate. It wasn't Trump that planted people in her rallies and, and had them starting violence on, and, and then blaming it on Hillary. Uh, she did that. You know, it, it wasn't Trump that uh, didn't do interviews, didn't address major issues such as her email scandals and all of the other corruption. She dodged the media. She did a lot of that. It wasn't Trump that did that. It wasn't Trump that waited for the last minute to hire a whole bunch of movie stars and actresses and singers and dancers to do concerts just to try to win the affection of the African-American community and the young people. Trump didn't do any of that stuff. He won fair and square. And, you know, <laughs> what really gets me is prior to the end of this election, everybody was mad because they felt that Trump wasn't going to accept the results of the election. How dare him? I can't believe your, your candidate... He doesn't even want to accept the results. I mean, he, he's already preparing to be a sore loser. Now, who's the sore loser? When the, when the democratic uh, process works, you get all of these liberals feeling like they were cheated or something. And I'm going, that's the democratic process. You know, um, there was no evidence whatsoever that Trump cheated. He didn't even launch a, a unrealistic smear campaign towards Hillary Clinton. I mean, for all we know, all the stuff that went out about Hillary, we were going, yeah, that's pretty accurate. She was throwing out all kind of garbage about Trump. I mean, if you just knew all of the back deal conspiracies uh, that went on to sabotage Trump, you wouldn't be so quick to go, he's a racist or he's a, 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 a sex offender, you know, as if his very seedy opponent had nothing to do with those narratives. Let's use some logic, man. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. You know, I have talked to people, uh, some of my friends. I've had people say stuff like, how could Christians vote for Donald Trump? And, and how could black people vote for Donald Trump? And I go, you know, how could anybody vote for Hillary Clinton? I mean, if you, you think about it, this woman has people in her candidacy that practice witchcraft along with her. Um, you know, she has sold America out for her own dollars and I mean so much stuff has gone on with this lady and people are acting like she was robbed and, and, and deserved better and really I think she got off easy if I was Hillary Clinton right now I would go somewhere and sit down I would be like let me lay low I lost the election I don't have the cloak of political influence anymore like I did when I was running for the candidacy I don't want these feds to be on my back right now because ain't nobody going to be calling them saying leave her alone because she might win the presidency. So right now she is exposed. If I was her, I'd be going, hey, y'all, shut up. Don't be in the streets. Get out the streets. Go sit down somewhere. I don't want them coming up here looking into my email situation or my play to pay situation. Me and Bill, we're going to get us a little island and we're going to retire and go somewhere and sit down. Didn't they learn from OJ Simpson? When O.J. got off, he should have just went and sat down somewhere. But O.J. out all on the golf course, all in restaurants, making everybody realize, look at me, I beat the rap. And it came back to bite him. So I just think if I was Hillary, I'd go somewhere and just sit down. You lost fair and square. And I'm sorry for all those that just can't accept that. Um, there comes a time that you just have to mature as a citizen, as a man and a woman, and, and eat it, you know. And say, well, let's let time be the determining factor of how Trump will be. And like I said before, if he turns out to be whacked, crazy, out of control, you know, yes, that's the time to protest. But now is not the time. So settle down.